Hi guys, this time we want to show you a frameless hydro slide unit. Uh, it was done in an L shape because of the shape of the shower. The glass that we use is the 3 8 thick star fire glass. Uh, the unit has three panels. Uh, there is what you're looking at right now is the upper track. Uh, the panel on the left, uh, if we go inside right now, is going to reveal the two caps that hold the, the fixed glass panel in place. Um, and then there is a sliding door um, that I want to show you. But right now, what he's looking and what he's uh, pointing at, it's just uh, the track. Uh, the door has hangers. I believe it's four wheels per hanger, so just one door is going to have eight wheels, which is going to make the sliding really smooth uh, and easy. It slides all the way. Let me show you here. And uh, the same bar on the top has the stoppers to prevent the glass from hitting the wall. So we did put a stoppers on the top. And obviously on this side when we close the door, uh, there is another stopper. Besides that, we wanted to cover as much as we could. Uh, so we added a clear bubble that you can barely see. Uh, but that completes the, uh, the, the small gap that there is between the side panel and the door. Uh, so on this side we have the upper track. We see the two hangers for the door. Uh, in the back, we already saw the two caps for the fixed glass panel, which is here. Okay, so we have the door, the fixed panel. On the floor, there is a guide that keeps the door on track. This was going to obviously not let the door bounce and just keep it in place. Um, what I'm using is a double knob, a back to back uh, knob that has plastic uh, covers. On this side, uh, there is a, the return panel. It has on the top the end cap that receives the, the upper track for the sliding. Um, on the other side of the panel, we notice how they didn't have any tile at all on the wall, just the drywall. So we added the U channel that uh, matches the finish of the Hydro Slide hardware, which is the chrome finish. And from that point, up, it's just a huge channel. The same panel has obviously clear silicone that is sealing the small gaps and it's uh, helping us hold the glass. Uh, there is an additional clamp that was added uh, that's just to add more stability because this panel is pretty much holding the other end of the, of the track from the wall. Uh, the unit as you can see has the chrome finish and the glass was custom made so if we try to go really close to each side or the bottom of the glass it's going to have the same shape as the wall so we're never going to find uh, huge spots that have uh, that had to be filled out with uh, lots of silicone so it's a custom job it was uh, definitely made for this shower and um, the customer is actually very pleased. We just finished uh, doing the installation of a, a large mirror. Uh, it's over, I believe, about 144 inches long. It's a quarter inch clear. It was uh, custom made to match the level of the backsplash that they put. That gives it a really, really big look to the, to the bathroom. And then on the side we, we uh, install an L-shaped metal to cover any, uh, well the side view of that mirror because there is a gap always between the wall and the, the front of the mirror so we like to put that, uh, cover that with a metal channel. So that's it for today with the mirror, the frameless shower door here, the hydro slide unit and uh, feel free to make any comments and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you.